Hey guys, Habsburg Jaw here, and I finished the Fallout TV series last night, and I really just want to get right into talking about my speculations on the huge ending we saw with the last episode. The whole show just made me so excited and giddy like a little schoolgirl, and I was all, I was all Fallout and out, bro. Fallout and out, baby. And yeah, man, it was just, the show was just absolutely incredible from start to finish i'm really gonna try to not to get into super big spoilers because mainly what i really want to talk about is fallout new vegas is my favorite game and to me this show just like put the cherry on top of all the fall like just it, it just kind of i feel like it took all of the stories because i've played every fallout game a lot of people are upset and saying that Shady Sands and the NCR may have been moved around a bit and some of their lore have been moved around a bit. But if you watch the ending and you saw the cold fusion generator kick on and you saw all the lights like go through like California, that was where your one million, two million NCR citizens lived right there, bro. Like, no, like, no, they just had a downfall just like any other empire has and... I think some NCR fans are just, uh, dude, I, I think the NCR is cool just as many other guys, but they fell, dude. They were plummeting fast. They had their rise through Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, which was set like a hundred years before what is going on in this show and what's going on in the other, the Bethesda games from Fallout 3 in New Vegas. So I don't think it's too far, far, far fetched to believe that, yeah, maybe maybe Shady Sands was taken out of taken out of the picture because spoiler alert that's basically what happened but with what we've learned in the show so far the downfall of the NCR isn't as clear cut anymore because the show has now told us that Voltec their representatives aren't actually dead they didn't die with the bomb so they're still somehow living in cryo sleep in another vault and you'll learn about that if you watch the show if you if you watch some episodes there if you will not watch some episodes if you watch the show you will find out that vault is very much well alive and present and have had an eye on things for a long time which i mean isn't that far-fetched from a crazy corporation that you know invested into stock into the vault the, the fallout shelter idea why would they drop the bombs if or why would it be implied in some of the terminals in the lore in the games that vault may have dropped the bombs and made all these vaults if they weren't trying to somehow make some profit on it how are they going to make profit on it if they're all dead and that was what of that's what's been implied in the fan base for years for many years that Maybe the people that made these vaults are still alive. Maybe they're, this was their plan the whole time. So they're back. They came back to the surface. They were probably trying to, you know, recapture the Earth after completely annihilating the Earth before and getting rid of all the factions that were messing everything up and making life stressful. And now there is this NCR and Caesar's Legion. So... Who knows? We we haven't even been introduced to Caesar's Legion yet. We don't. That's and people are kind of upset and are afraid that New Vegas is not going to be canon anymore because of that. But that's a good thing because at the end of the first season, we saw New Vegas. We saw Lucky the Lucky Thirty Eight. If you watch the end credits, you saw a sh uh, New Vegas in shambles with destroyed NCR vertebrates and stuff like that and it seemed like a big battle actually happened on the vegas strip so maybe maybe something happened maybe we're going to learn about what happened during that exact time period in the second season maybe we're going to find out maybe mid battle and what happened it maybe it, 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 maybe it's a rewrite at the end of what happened at the end of the hoover dam the courier no matter who the courier sided with or the courier was siding with independently or with house or whoever and out of nowhere vault tech re reared its ugly head again in 2284 or 85 maybe that's what happened 
because that's what was being kind of being implied with the whole father daughter dynamic from the vaults, the vault tech people, the the vault rep res residents. So it's not hard to believe that maybe this all maybe the ending of New Vegas actually was a complete and utter NCR failure because not only did they completely fail and extend their forces there, but they weren't even aware of a secondary enemy that was hiding in the grass or the vaults the entire time. And they just emerged super late. They emerged way later than everyone else. And now they see that Shady Sands and the rest of outer California is this huge populated era area and they basically repopulated the earth themselves there's like i mean the ncr in canon has one two million people why would it, if a voltec representative woke up and saw that don't you think they would probably lose their marbles and inevitably nuke the city centers or try to bomb one of the major capitals of those cities maybe that's what maybe we're going to find out that's even possibly what happened to Caesar's Legion. Maybe Voltec went completely off the rails. Or another speculation. I, I like. I, I, that's why I'm so giddy about this, and why I'm just totally going like off the rails and bouncing off ideas is because maybe, maybe Caesar's Legion isn't as noble or like as devoted to their code as we think. Maybe Caesar's Legion has some Voltec skeletons in their closet. Maybe, maybe they were aided by Voltec to to distract and overextend the NCR. I don't know guys. That's what that's that's why that's why the show is amazing. It's so good. It it, it it it's 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 just refueled, reignited all of this new and fresh lore that the series has to offer and it is a must, a must watch if you are a a Fallout fan. I am absolutely stunned by this by the show. I wish it was a video game. I wish th like this feels like it's almost New Vegas 2 with that like Fallout 4 coat of paint, but it's in real life. It's in real time. Like this feels like the next gen Fallout. I hope to god they go back to this West Coast area of for the next Fallout because this story the story for the three characters they have Lucy the vault the vault the, the vault resident uh the uh uh Maxim Maximus the Brotherhood of Steel representative the 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 squire or he turns into a knight at the end and the ghoul the guy who's been alive since the the beginning of the great war he knew about all of this vault tech stuff it's so good man from top to bottom the every Every piece of lore is there. Like, I, 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 people were, were kind of biting their fingers, but this just has all of every little Fallout lore, like, detail just kind of wrapped up in a nice little bow. And I just cannot wait to see what's in store for second the second season. I mean, we saw it. We saw it tangibly right there. We saw New Vegas on the horizons. I mean... Who knows what's going to be in store for this show next? I mean, how did the Brotherhood get back? Like, how did they even do this with Voltec? Like, it's just, it's completely insane. I mean, even the, like, the round table discussion with the representatives from... <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a little sick still. The, the round table discussion with, with Big Empty, the Big, big Mountain representative, Repcon... Uh, Rob Co, uh, all, all those, all the different corporations, Voltec, West Tech, all those companies were there, and you're just like, oh, you could just the 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 comedy and the gore was there, like it felt like all the video game elements were there, but the the sinister evil, this is the the pure evil that that all of the the fallout lore embodied and that just made you when like like certain st stories and like went in fallout 3 or fallout like new vegas where you visited fallout uh, vault 11 and like it was that execution vault like that's there that dark 
dark. Like, you're just like, why? Like, ugh, like, why? Like, why would vault Tech do this? Like, why would they do this? Like, all of that is there. It's, it's, it's there. It's all, it, like, it is by far the best TV representation of a series I've ever seen, and it's a must-watch. The I cannot wait to see what is more uncovered, and I truthfully believe that it had to have been it had to have been an orchestrated effort to because the NCR had to have been pushed way back and just were just totally overextended with how this all unfolded. They were just totally blind they they were totally blindsided because when you watch the show, the NCR is in just such a disheveled state and it, you're just so surprised seeing the Brotherhood way on top of them compared to what we saw even in Fallout 4. And Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, you were just still like, I mean, the NCR was still top dogs back then, and you're like, and then you see them in the show, and you're just like, wow, the NCR really got fucking like they got they got straight up blindsided, dude. And you is not that far fetched to believe because they were overextended all the way. They're trying to extend e uh, so far east from their from California. They're just trying to get their claws back out there their claws of quote-unquote democracy out into the out into the wasteland and i just think they hit a wall right there they they hit the courier they hit caesar's legion and then without out of nowhere they just did not see they did not see voltec just all of a sudden lurking in the shadows and they just all of a sudden they pounced just voltec was like they're totally swelled up I guarantee you, like, who knows? Maybe because Mr. House has all this Voltec equipment. I guarantee you, Mr. House probably, probably, probably did this, dude. Like, it had to have been a Mr. House play. There, there had, like, ah, uh, you guys got to watch the show. With everything I'm saying, I hope you guys are, are understanding my madman fallout fanatic ramblings. But holy crap, this show is good. You guys got to see it. I don't know how I'm going to get footage for this, but. I'm probably just going to play some straight Fallout for this and just post it. Uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. This was totally off the top of my head. Sorry, guys. See you later. Habsburg Jaw out.